Hello everyone! Time for an Eden run. It's been a while since we played Eden, except for me, who played Eden fucking yesterday. Speed down there, good start. Eden is a character what starts with random stats and a couple of random items, and we're going to Mega Satan, and we've started with the scissors. Good, good start. Trying to get hit. We have three red HP, which is actually quite a lot. It looks like our damage stat is really good, as well as our tier stat, so... I think we've rolled pretty well for this Eden run. Well, everyone's rolled well for this Eden run. Uh, I'm trying not to get in a position where I could be hit by these sons of a bitches. You can hit them uh, a couple of seconds after they've disappeared, which is really helpful. We started with Infestation, which means we spawn a spider whenever we get hit. Please do damage to your comrades. Okay, then. And we have started with the Scissors, which is just shit. Uh, I believe the scissors... We'll find out. Let's use it here. Yes, it leaves a, a turret on the ground. Oh, shit. They avoided me. It leaves your head as a turret, and then your body runs around and shoots you. It's kind of... Uh, shoots for you. As you shoot? Whatever. It's kind of the opposite of the uh, pinking shears, which I think we saw in the last run that we did, anyway. Um, where the pinking shears removes your head, and you fly that around. Uh, and the body just goes off and does whatever it wants and aggroes the shit out of everything. This is really helpful that every time this champion horn, wow, careful, uh, spawns spiders, the spiders immediately die on the spikes which are in front of it. So thank you for being this version of the champion horn. And not the stupid one that does horrible diagonal brimstones. We have got HP and I suspect we will not be able to pick up that black heart, but I might try when we come back out. We haven't found the item room yet. Obviously we've got the uh, the key there, trailing us, because we need to get as far as <laughs> the Mega Satan. Which means this fight, this run, needs to make us strong enough that fighting Mega Satan is even a remote possibility. Oh jeez, so many spiders all of a sudden. Please. We're doing decent damage, you can tell, because uh, spiders take two hits each. Uh, which is good for the first floor, that's for sure. The HP upgrade that we got from the boss... There's also a damage upgrade. But I don't think it's taken us past the point... Oh, black heart. I don't think it's taken us past the point where... You know, I think we were already two hitting spiders, basically. It's a small damage upgrade, not, not something to write home about. So we went into the cursed room, we took the damage for it, which is why I didn't pick up the black heart in the boss room. Assuming we can. I didn't even try. Uh, we got a black heart and the rusted key, the rusted key... Uh, is likely to give us a good chance of getting more keys. If, well, it does give us a good chance of getting more keys, that's what it does. I think it may also just be a straight luck upgrade. And we re have replaced the scissors, which is a trash item, with the Book of Secrets, which is still pretty shit. All it really does... Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I got it. Um... All the Book of Secrets does is, whenever you use it, it gives you either the compass, the map, or um, the blue map effect. So you either find out where secrets are, or where the rest of the floor is, or where things in the floor are. Although I think it can give you the compass and the map at the same time. Possibly. Oh uh, shit. Stay here. Got hit. That room can bite my shiny metal ass. Shit, what a dick of a room that was. Uh, Sad Onion is a tears upgrade, but I believe a damage downgrade. But I think it is a good tears upgrade compared to the damage downgrade. I think it's a good item. Let's just put it that way. We like the Sad Onion. We will take the Sad Onion. We don't have an opportunity to re-roll it. It wasn't like there was a re-roll in that room. Rough. Please blow up that tinted rock. Or let me get into... Over here. You're making all these bombs, and I can't seem to do shit with them, so if you kindly, you know, be better with that, that'd be splendid. Right, I can get the golden bomb, so I'm not too worried about min-maxing the rest of this room. There we go. We explode. Thank you. <laughs> what a strange noise. I didn't realise it made that noise. Now we have infinite bombs for this floor, which is really useful, especially against the boss. And I guess I need to drops that we find. Um, we did find one, and it did have a spirit heart in it, so we have made up for the fact that that bullshit room with all the explosions in it... Took away a full heart. 
which I'm not pleased with. We've got a book of secrets there, which has given us the map effect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Watch out for these guys. They can really do a number on you. They can shoot you from across the room, and so you have to... I think the trick so far has been simply to... Uh, excuse me? Hello? Uh, you time when they pop up, and then you time how long it is before that does anything. Like, how long they shoot after they pop up. How long after they pop up they shoot. And then you get the hell used to that over several hundred hours of playing the game. And then you move when you expect them to be shooting. Uh, I'm gonna presume there's a secret room here. We have infinite bombs, so it can't hurt to find out. Uh, a spirit hut from our secret room. And probably five more cents from this particular chappy. What, with him having cents in his eyeballs? Yes. So we have 12 cents. We don't have unlimited keys, but we do have unlimited bombs. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and see, yes, there's another special shopkeeper here. He could give us five more cents. And with five more cents, I'm going to buy Chaos, because I am a maverick. Can't be trusted. I wonder how many people bought Chaos there. I wonder how many people went there. You know, with 12 cents, you think, oh, I'm not going to bother going to the shop. It's a bit of a waste of time. We are very slow. But we should be speeding up with the, uh, the benefits that we've got recently. Uh, let's uh, try and explode that little horn to some extent. Yeah, good. Excellent. Good. Stay, stay not disappeared. Please. Stop teleporting. Continue not teleporting. That's fine with me. And this fight is almost over. I was going to say this fight is over and then he disappeared just as I was about to finish off. Guppy's paw. Okay, we have one guppy item. What does chaos do? I hear you cry. Chaos removes all the boundaries of item pools. I thought we went to the curse room. Well, I'm not going back. Uh, uh, all the item pools are completely off. There's only a couple of item pools that remain in their original incarnation. The mom fight will always drop the Polaroid in the negative. I think the horseman will always drop the cube of meat or ball of bandages. But besides that, Everything. All, all bets are off. Range down. Well, this has been a shithole for uh, keys today. Ow. Help. <laughs> was... We got Smart Fly from the Devil. Um, it was a bit of a toss up as to whether we took it or went for Angel Runs. Angel Room. An Angel Room run. Because Smart Fly is not great. Although it does manifest as an orbital. Uh, which is different from. Swarm Protector, Best Bud, which is like Smart Fly. Smart Fly, when you get hit, will fly around aggroing everything on the room, doing damage. But before you get hit, it acts as an orbital, whereas Best Bud, which is also a fly item that aggroes everything when you get hit, doesn't exist until you get hit. It, it hides out. So, the reason I took it mostly is that I wanted to have Devil Precedent. I wanted Precedent for the deal with the Devil, and you have to spend HP on an item the first time you see a devil room in order to get more devil rooms. Otherwise you might get an angel room, which I didn't want. <laughs> what a fucking dick of a room that is. Uh, I, I went silent whilst concentrating, which I think is perfectly legit. Fucking soul bastard over there. He dropped a, dropped a trinket we can't reach. It's okay. Speed down. Well, so go up his paw or time his head. Well, we'll take time his head and put it back down again. Hmm. We might see what the the boss and devil, if we get a devil, give us on this floor. In order to see whether we want time his head in the future. Guppy's paw, whilst being a guppy item, also allows us to trade red HP for spirit hearts. One red HP makes three spirit hearts. So if we're feeling in dire straits in terms of our uh, survivability, we can just crank on that and avoid taking red heart damage, which is important for deals with the devil. So I don't want to take Tammy's head, mostly because it kind of sucks. Uh, why did I come in here? Might as well pay for this. Uh, Tammy's head kind of sucks unless you've got something awesome like tech or brimstone. Even tech actually is not that great. 
brimstone or huge death touch tears or anything that covers a lot of screen space when you use it. When you've got small tiny base tears like we have right now, incidentally, small tiny base tears, kind of hoping for an improvement at some point. Careful, <laughs> I was really dumb. It wasn't that dumb. That was a pretty difficult situation to be in. Friends till the end is fine, and we have a hollow fight. It shouldn't be too difficult, but I do have a habit of tracking where the hollow is going to be and then standing right there. Oh, careful! Can some of the bits just put poop in my way? Do you see that? Let's get rid of one of them. Ha! Uh, excuse me. Since when have you spawned those things? Kind of don't want to use another bomb on this fight. Although there is a tinted drop in here, so maybe I should have put it down here. Uh, we did not get a deal with the devil, but we did get the Book of Sin, which gives us a key, which means we can open this guilt free, which means we get the Lover's Card. Let's just leave. <laughs> I don't know what to... What's happening? That's what Chaos does. Suddenly we're getting deals with the devil, deal with the devil items from the bosses, and boss I well, item room items from the deal with the devil. You know, there's a good, there's much chances we get brimstone in an item room as there is to get fucking, I don't know, something shit. How to jump from a deal with the devil. So all bets are off. As I keep harping on about. It's my new, f it's the phrase of the week. Wow, I'm so glad that you stopped just now. Thank you for uh, pausing in your assault on me. Help. Ah. Uh, it's okay. This is one of those rooms where there's just too much on the screen and without enough DPS to get rid of all of the, the shit that's flying around all the time. Uh, oh, no spirit heart. Oh. Fuck me for complaining, I guess. Yeah, on rooms like that, you, you just have to accept that you're probably going to take a hit of damage and, and sort of move on. Try not to write too many harsh words on your Tumblr post about it. Well, I suppose it'd be Reddit. Try not to bitch on Reddit about the unfairness of that room. We haven't got any bombs. We've only got one cent, so re-rolling it might be difficult. Now we have five bombs, and we're very dangerous to ourselves. Probably should be tied up with a... Uh, silken ropes. No. Wow. I really trapped myself in the corner there as well. Look, we have to start doing more damage. Which is not happening because obviously I took a uh, chaos, which means we're never going to get a damage upgrade ever again. Look here. There you go. I thought they left fires behind, but maybe that's if you only have only if you have um, hot bombs as well. So bomber blast there just means that our bombs are extremely potent and do a cross shape of damage instead of just the, the normal what explosion. It's so slow. We've got a speed downgrade, we've got a range downgrade, we've got one damage upgrade as far as I can remember. We have had the tears upgrade from uh, the Sad Onion. I walked into that fly because I thought I was going to kill it faster than I did. But I didn't. Wow, you're turning into those, are you? How about, uh, no, go fuck yourself. Yay, bombs. Hmm. I've got a lover's card which basically does nothing for us, it drops two red hearts. But I don't want to take red heart damage, and if I'm getting to the situation where I might take red heart damage, I'll use Guppy's paw to turn it into spirit hearts. Uh, I was really hoping that would be the secret room so we could get into the curse room. Oh shit, there's a hole. Man. We do have to do. try and get to boss rush and hush, but as before, I'd rather skip boss rush than hush. And boss rush, when you're low damage, apart from the fact that it can kill you outright, can just take so long that you never get to hush. So if we're going to get one of the two bonuses, either 4400 or 6600, I'd rather have 6600. There's no point doing a self-sacrifice room, because we're going that far anyway. In fact, we're going further than a self-sacrifice room would normally let you go, because the Mega Satan door will be open. However, there will be no lamb fight. There'll be no boss at the end of the game. Ah, uh, okay. Wonky, not much point going in there. Kind of wish we kept hold of the... <laughs> Kind of wish we kept hold of the Book of Secrets, just so that I can see where I'm going on these floors and maybe get a little bit faster and move on a bit quicker, but mm. Chaos can be excellent, but it can also fuck your game right up just by not giving you anything decent in any of the item pools rather than, like, you can tend to expect that in the Devil Room item pool there's going to be some decent items, 
Some good damage upgrades like Death's Touch or Brimstone. Something that is high power but difficult to deal with for me, like Mom's Knife. You know, we could get things like Ceremonial Robes, which is damage up and health up. Chad. Hmm. I have a feeling that our bombs are actually better left outside of Chad than inside. But um, now that we've got, <clears throat> now that we've got chaos, those items could appear for free in item rooms, or they could just never appear at all. <laughs> I suppose it has been known to happen just on devil runs. But also, oh, I thought he was going to hit me, so I dodged away from him, and then he died, and then oh. it's not worth explaining. Mom's pad and fanny pack. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to uh, get myself three spirit hearts there, just because. A little bit low on HP. If I'm prepared to spend one HP on fucking fanny pad. Which now I think about it, it kind of describes mom's pad in the UK. Um, then I should be prepared to spend one spirit heart on three spirit hearts. It stands to reason. That one red heart on three spirit hearts. But it still stands to reason. Just because I... Uh, well, you fired way sooner than I expected you to. Just stand there and take it. She'll tank all the damages. One. I'd very much like to get more guppy items, which is also an opportunity now that we are in Chaosville. Excuse me, there's more? Yes, there is more. There is one more. Uh, because it can appear in our item rooms and our shops in our boss rewards. Apparently, uh,. We still get little Chad all the time. I don't know why I walk down there. Oh, I've got to the part of the game where I stop paying attention. Right. Shape up. Watch what's happening. Look at the screen. Cursed darkness is just making me... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> don't care. We're very slow. I would be very surprised if we got boss rush. I'm going to swap out for Mom's Pearl because we seem to have a lot of keys now. Uh, why did you just run towards me faster than I've ever seen you run before? Can we talk about this? thought you had a prescribed speed and range of motion. Apparently I'm uh, wrong about that. You can apparently go as fast as you like, breaking all known physical laws. Mom's Pearl is going to just cause more spirit hearts to drop as far as I know. I don't think there's a downside to it, except that we don't get to keep the lucky... the, the latch key, the rusted key, whatever it was called. But we don't need it because we have plenty of keys. Oh, right, we've got huge bombs. So, A, we should move out of the hell of that out of the way. And B, oh, two Hierophant cards on the same floor. Room, in fact. Amazing, right. We're, uh, we're quids in now. Careful there. Don't think these things can kill each other, which is crime shame. Man. We're not doing it. We haven't had a damage upgrade basically since the first one. Which was meat. That's key. That's no use at all. We've already got the key piece that we need. We've not had a single damage upgrade. I'm starting to think that Chaos was a bit of a letdown so far, actually. Look how little damage we're doing. It's taking me so long to kill these things. It's the sort of flaw where if you're not killing stuff, and I think I've said this before, if you're not killing stuff quickly, it's going to be a massive problem for you. Simply because the game at this point is assumed that you're doing a lot more damage than you are. So in order to compete... I mean... If you can't knock things out of the runnings quickly... You're not going to be able to dodge all the shit that's on the screen. You need to get rid of a lot of the stuff. You need to control the crowd a lot faster than you can when you've got this almost completely base damage. Like our DPS is kind of okay. And I do prefer having more... Uh, look up, Grace. More shots per second than damage per shot, but if you can't get either of those, you're basically boned. There's nothing you can do. So, all we've achieved so far is more shots per second and a tiny amount of damage per shot. So, I'm hoping before too long we can get an actual damage upgrade and a strong one. Maybe Judas's Shadow can appear in, a, in an ice room or something? 
that long it's taken to just take this thing apart. And then I've got to take these two things apart. And then there's four of them, okay. Man. Not down with this at all. Let's turn them into these so that they're not charging me from across the room. Use me. Oh, see? Charge me from across the room, as noted. We have plenty of spirit hearts. It's not like we're going to die. Not in any time soon, but... I think... <laughs> I literally do not have the DPS required to get to Boss Rush. I certainly don't have the DPS required to beat Boss Rush. So I'm going to call it quits on Boss Rush. Just by default. Fuck Boss Rush. Maybe we can get something decent on the Hush Lobby or... Like, before then, I don't know. I cannot see a way to get good enough to beat Hush. We've just taken this long over three pins. Nobody wants to take this long over three pins on Necropolis 1. So we've basically got one, maybe two chances of getting good. We've been everywhere on this floor that we care about. Been to the shop. No. Since we're not doing boss rush, let's backtrack. Find that shop. What's this? The lovers. <coughs> I think the moon is probably better for us than the lovers. In fact, I probably could have used the moon to get to the secret room and therefore close to the shop. But I didn't. That's okay. Careful. <laughs> Stop trying to chase the husk. The hollow. The fucking whatever his name is. There's no point trying to be where it is. You've got to be further away. You have a ranged weapon. You know. You're not, um, you're not playing god here. You're not a tank, you're not a paladin. Fuck me. These are fucking item room items anyway. I don't want any of this. I came all this way for nothing. Wow, what a shit. <laughs> sometimes chaos is amazing. Sometimes it fucks you. I think today chaos has not been good for us at all. Let's, uh, let's find the secret room. It's right next to us. Kind of hoping that the secret room would have an item in it and the item would be random because it was, you know, chaos. It was actually right next to the shop as well, so <laughs> I guess we could have secret roomed found the shop. Never mind. <laughs> Let's uh, fight this boss. It's the Mask of Infamy. This is going to be extraordinarily annoying unless I take damage on purpose to get um, Smart Fly to start aggroing the, the boss, especially the mask part of the boss, which we have to hit from behind if we can ever, you know, get down to this stage. Stop it! You're going faster than me, and you're in cape- Fuck off! <laughs> oh my god! Did you see that? There was no way out of that. The mask is going faster than I am, and aggroing me, as soon as it's- Like, when I was a kid, what happened to no Tiggy Butcher, is what I'm saying here. You know, you've got to give me at least a refractory period after you've hit me, in order for me to get that fuck out of the way. Otherwise, you could just trap me in the corner and kill me. We're so slow, we've got so little damage. I'm getting louder. I'm starting to get salty. We're gonna die on Hush, inevitably, if we can fucking make it that far. I didn't do yesterday's run because I had already been salty about a fucking Eden run that I brought on myself. No. Look. Excuse me. <laughs> did I hit me or did that hit me? Rules card. Uh, rooms may yield more than you expect. Experimentation is key. Okay. And now, I skipped an Isaac run, which could have been great, because we'd be re-rolling everything all the fucking time. Just to get... So that I wasn't, you know, playing the game, because it was making me salty. That was a good one. And now I'm doing another Eden run, which is making me salty. I can't move! There's nowhere to go! <laughs> nowhere to go. It's a good thing we still got Guppy's paw. Are you, uh, do you move randomly or are you actually chasing me? Well, we've got two black hearts from that. Man. I haven't had the damage upgrade yet. This is one of those train wrecks that you heard so much about. Fuck me. Yeah, great. Now we can go to the shop and buy another fucking bullshit item that doesn't exist in anyone's Santa list. No, 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 no. I'm noping out of here. Here's our item. This is a better fucking good item. Because if this is not... Wow, you went faster than I've ever seen. If it's not a good item, this is it. 
We're just going to have to get as far as we can. Oh, it's a question mark. Just what I needed. Oh, it's a fucking damage downgrade and fire upgrade upgrade. Which I didn't have a choice about. I probably wouldn't have taken odd mushroom in this situation. Skinny odd mushroom anyway. Fat odd mushroom, yeah. You fucking turned around when I was about to chase you down. I'm getting salty to the extent that I'm making mistakes. Mistakes I shouldn't be making rather than mistakes that I always make. Uh, you're supposed to learn over time is what I'm saying. Can we get this down? It's the wrong one! Haha! -ha! I think you can get me but you can't. I believe we have successfully garnered a range upgrade of some description. Shoot them when they're shooting. Okay. Trigger them. Trigger warning. Shoot them sideways. Trigger them. Shoot them sideways. That never hit me. Also, totally think they should disappear when you kill the... It's black hole, right? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to the shop. To hell with everything that could ever get us points. If we finish this run, I'm going to crown myself the all-time champion Isaac player. Because... Oh, this. Nope. Just fucking red hearts all over again. Where's Dark Bum when you need him, huh? It's the curse of the red heart run. Nothing but HP. We haven't even got HP, man. Chaos was there taunting me and went, Take me. You need my power. The power of chaos. Ronnie Soak owned that fucking shop. Oh, this room. These things have got so much HP. Because it's, it's Necropolis 2. Of course it's got a lot of HP. Damage up. Range up. <laughs> there isn't a damage up pill, okay? I was just being mildly facetious and very optimistic. No secret room there. See yourself. Yep, yeah, definitely wouldn't have been a secret room there. Just shoot it down. Fuck me! Those things travel for miles. There's another one! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't realise there were this many help. Send help, stop. No, I think that was the same one. It just managed to travel the entire length of the room and then came back and got me. What a jackass. Let's get some points for this. Oh, that was our last bomb. There's more bombs. Oh, Spirit Heart. Luck upgrade might be good. I want to get rid of the uh, fly, but oh my god. Look how little damage we're doing. At this stage of the game, if Loki isn't falling apart under the wrath of our, under the might of our, you know, righteous fury, we've failed. We've failed as people. We've failed as Isaac he is. It's Eden for you. Eden plus chaos. Not gonna happen. Stop disappearing, you son of a bitch. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly done on the first of two bosses. <laughs> Second one is... Dark one. Well, this is going to take some time. We've got a good range. So we can, you know... Chew on dark one from the... I, I couldn't think of a word there. I was trying not to say spuff. But maybe I should have just said it, since I said it anyway. Good range helps, but of course... How are you supposed to deal with that? Look, pro tip, stop fucking shooting when he's coming at you and you don't know which way he's going to go. Yeah, because I'm taking my own advice so admirably right now. I'm like a fucking priest. And I didn't even win anything from doing it. Look, I've just got to focus them down one at a time and try to be in the right place when they shoot so that I don't have to dodge too far. This could be a good chest, so we'll explode it. Uh, it wasn't. What is with the HP? I've got little Chad. I don't need the charitable HP that the chests are giving me. Good. With a... Uh, with... Bomber Boy, I think? Uh, with a... Mester Megatype blasts that we've got going on. Putting a bomb basically anywhere is probably a good idea if you're having trouble. I'm stuck, but we managed to get through it. Please fall apart. Please don't explode near me. Let's get rid of that. 
Right, we've successfully remembered how to at least dodge. There's nothing in here, I was hoping maybe... If there had been a bed, we could have turned our final red HP into spirit hearts and then slept in the bed to get three more spirit hearts, which would have been really good. But it was not an option. We found the shop at last. It only took us fucking years. Let's take it. Champion belt. It's a damage upgrade! All hail fucking Odin. We're going to Valhalla. Let's take this. Don't know what it is. It's uh, it's a shitload of poop and I'm stuck in the middle. Shit, story of my life, man. Take a pill, shit everywhere, and you have to cry on it to get out. Who hasn't been there? Don't lie. 28 minutes and we haven't even fought Mom yet. If we can beat Mom, that's going to be stupendous. <laughs> going to be a uh, shout from the hills. No. Looking for the secret room. Maybe there's, as before, an item in there. It's not going to be there. Fuck it then. Super secret room? Here. No bombs left. Fuck you. Blue mom. Blue mom is the same as normal mom. Except the enemies that she spawns are that much more of a douche. It's just more difficult enemies that run around the room. We have got one play on Guppy's Paw left before we completely useless in that regard. Don't worry about standing still, I think, is the trick to the mom fight. Don't know how I didn't take damage there. Um, just try and get used to the idea that eventually mom's foot will come down. Like that. And if you can tailor it so that it breaks some rocks to assist you or, you know, otherwise gets rid of something irritating from the screen. That was uh, pretty much ideal. We are doing so little damage. Even with Smartfly running around killing everything for me. I wasn't paying attention there. That's fine. That's Fanny Pack paying out. What a fucking boon that turned out to be. I have used my final Guppy's Paw. We have taken the negative, so apparently we're doing Mega Stan downwards. I think Krampus is one of the other item pools that doesn't get affected by chaos. So we're either getting a lump of coal or Krampus's head right now, or we're just going to die. Excuse me, I'm not quite convinced I can take damage that fast. A lump of coal. That's a small damage upgrade. Man, the fucking number of times that I've been serially damaged. Chain damaged by the same enemy. Like, in a row. Just do my fucking head in. Don't know how I dodged through there, but let's just call it skill and pretend I'm good at this game. We have made it as far as Utero 1, which is the difficult version of the womb, so we've done the two difficult versions of the depths, and then the difficult version of the womb. We have still got Guppy's Paw, even though it is literally useless to us at this stage. Watch out. I'm trying to shoot things from as far away as possible just to get the damage bonus from Lump of Coal. But we're still alive, and we did get contract from below some time ago, so let's not, uh, not be too upset about that. Every reward we get from now on is doubled, or from then on is doubled. So, hide. <laughs> Run away. With the, yeah, the distance between us and Dingle there. I'm now doing this damage at the sort of stage I'd expect to be doing damage maybe on the caves or the start of the necropolis. So we're only five floors behind in terms of power. Six. We're only the entire game behind in terms of power, but we're still alive and that's what's important. Dark Bum would be so tremendous right now. Uh, I can't do shit there, apparently. And Fanny Pack wonderfully paid out with a live bomb. Thank you for your glorious assistance. You've been nothing but a boon. How is it everyone else manages to dodge that shit? <laughs> everyone else I ever watch on YouTube avoids taking damage from that doppelganger room. Shit. I don't think we can make it through here. I can't do enough damage to get rid of the things that are going to kill me before the other thing that's going to kill me actually kills me. Survive that room. Just more spirit hearts and we're golden. I don't really want the faded photograph. All that does is make us invisible every so often. Why am I keeping the lover's card? Uh, it's the only one that's even remotely likely to have a tangible benefit to us. Man, 
can't believe I did that room without dying. <laughs> we can't get hit. This is it. We are at the end of the run. This is death's door. If we get hit, we die. We have no respawn. We have no recourse. We are simply going to die. Doesn't matter what hits us. We haven't got the wafer, so all damage is a full heart. We've got a health upgrade, <laughs> which actually makes little Chad almost viable. Somehow we have to avoid dying here. Okay, we've made it this far. No, don't hit me now. This would be the worst time. Why am I keeping half a heart instead of filling it up? Uh, well, now I'm fucked. Uh, the reason is... Uh, no, I was kind of hoping that you'd make a bridge. The reason is... Yes, thank you. Um... Oh, shit. Uh, what was I saying? Half a heart means that we get at least the effect of the negative. It's the same as permanent Polaroid invincibility, except for the negative. Oh, my God. Remember, this is here. Skatol, please. Oh, my God, Skatol. Oh, my God, the Beelzebub. We can fly now. That's gonna at least help to some reasonable extent. Look, I got very excited about that. <laughs> it's because we're still alive. We have 14,000 points and we're on the you throw one with stat rates. You know, this is a this is at least 10,000 points behind where we should be from a normal run. We should have done boss rush. We should have got a shitload of awesome items. Basically, the game is shat on us. But Skatol means that any flies that show up will be on our side. Oh god! Don't die here. If any flies show up. Double brownie. Oh, a brownie and a dingle. Oh, I'm not down with this at all. This is not going to happen. Oh god. We lost our eternal heart, but it did keep us alive. We died. That is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> 524. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're early on in the daily right now, but 524 with that much time, that much damage, that poor a score. Oh my god. Don't take chaos. Who knows what we could have got if we hadn't taken chaos. We got so many deals with the devil, but all it gave us was mom's fucking pad and fanny pack. Brilliant. Thanks for the thanks for the major boon. I probably should have not have gone down the devil path, but we didn't get chaos until we were already committed, I think. Oh, maybe that's not true. I mean, maybe the angel rooms were better, but... Oh. Man, you could draw your own conclusions from that run. I'm out. <laughs>